Hello guys, Christian Vedder here and today we are reviewing the Orca Torch Diving Light. I've been using this for a couple of dives now and I am quite impressed with what uh, you get for the money here. So let's look into the package, what's inside. We have a cable to connect the charger. We have a charger to charge four batteries. We have the diving light itself, comes with this uh, battery package, the cable, and the diving light. The light has three uh, different uh, strengths, so you have really strong, quite strong, not so strong, and off. And also you can do this and turn it on the safety, so you can turn the light on and off. Very practical if you have it mounted and it uh, bumps into stuff. So it also has a connection for a car charger. It has this thing to put it around your wrist so you don't lose it if you have it hanging loose. And uh, you have some extra pack, uh, seals for the battery package and some extra screws. So let's look into this. This is the battery package. It has four quite big uh, batteries. They go into here, all four of them then you uh, plug it into the wall and it just charges itself. And you have all the data here on how much, how long it's been charging and how long it's left of charging. I charged this recently. It, I just completely depleted the batteries when I did the test to see how long uh, this light will work. It worked for uh, almost five hours, between four and five hours on full strength in, uh, in my sink. These batteries are 3,400 milliamperes. This one is 2,700 um, lumen. So it's quite strong. I'm very impressed by, um, by what you get for the price here. So you put these in here, plug it to the wall. All the data comes in here. It took quite a while to charge it. I think it used between seven and eight hours from completely depleted battery to uh, fully charged. But then again, you have batteries for five hours of diving, so that's impressive. These easily go into here. Close this. This has three sealing packages, uh, sealing uh, gaskets. I think it's gaskets. Not my main language, English, but uh, yes. You have three uh, seals here to uh, make it uh, waterproof. And you have these steering things to make sure that you don't unscrew it on wrong. Yeah. What I found practical, you just uh, mount this on your uh, flask, the diving flask, air flask. And then uh, it will be like this and you can just use it as a light like this. If you need to drop it or whatever, you can just leave it and it won't float away because it's attached. For me, myself, I usually... Uh, dive with a full face mask so i like to have it on my mask one second here we'll see if we can do that yes so what i did i just took off this this can be adjusted to uh, whatever side you want this on you can have it like this you can completely take it off uh, you can uh, when it comes it's like this you can also change this rubber ring to one of different color i don't know what it's for but it's uh, it's there so, we take this, we screw this into here. Then, and then I have uh, my light here and I have my GoPro camera here. Plus I have a GoPro camera in my hand, so I don't have to think about it. Wherever I look, I got light. So, I'm just gonna put this here. As you can see here, this can be adjusted to the side, so it can be further out or further in. It also has these different ones you can attach the light on, so you can get the light further in or further out. You also have this screw here, you can adjust the light up and down. You can also, of course, attach the light on the other side of the mask if that is what you prefer. But uh, this is how I have it. So the way I have been using this, I have attached this on my mask, swimming around. I have it so I can access the button underneath here. So when it's on, see, get it on here. Mm -hmm. 
Here, mask on. You can just push here. So I didn't use the lock on this one to lock it so you can't push the button because I didn't find it necessary for what I was doing. But and it uh, it was completely fine. And uh, like this, I just attached the battery package on the back here like this. And this one went over over my shoulder and to me. So I didn't have any problems with this getting tangled up or anything. It's a very impressive light. Uh, there's a link in the description below where you can buy this on Amazon or and there's also a link in the description where you can check out the homepage of Orca Torch. The light is water resistant down to 150 meters. It's all the data on the front here. I haven't tried it to 150 meters, of course. It also has a runtime of 37 hours here. That is probably on the third level or, or the, the weakest power, like there. Because it had only five hours of runtime when I did full uh, strength. But still, that's a long time. I talked to the company, they said I could also use this light on land, which I haven't been able to do with uh, my previous lights because they get too hot. This is a uh, LED light, so doesn't that get that hot and you can still use it outdoors if you walk in the woods and stuff like that. If there's anything I missed. Yes, they did send me this, so uh, I didn't buy it. They sent me this to have a look at it, but I was very impressed. And if I don't like a product people send me, I will give it a bad review. So, just so you know. So if you have a bad product to send me, you know, you'll get a bad review. If it's a good product, you'll get a great review. So, that is it. If you have any questions about this light, please ask it in the comment field and I'll try to answer as good as possible. Have a nice day and I see you on the next dive or breath hold, whatever I put out. So let me know in the comment field what kind of videos you would like to see in the future as well. Because I'll do some more reviews, I'll do some more breath hold training, I'll do some more uh, scuba diving and free diving and underwater stunts. Especially stunts I will do more of. Have a nice day!